What's going on guys, it's Jordan here and I was literally just about to make a video about something that I'm not going to go into right now. When I had this horrible, um, look at this, my tripod just destroyed itself. I don't know why, I don't know what to do, how to fix it. You can see like, yeah, it's just, it's a lost cause. <laughs> it's a lost cause. So I thought, you know, I was sitting here like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I was trying to fix it. And then I realised, whoa, what am I do what's going on here? And then I realised that I have something that I've been holding back for so long and I thought I might as well talk about it in this video so I don't know how I'm gonna set up uh, some sort of tripod but yeah give me a sec so what I want to talk to you guys about is basically failing <laughs> like since my tripod failed I thought it kind of triggered something in my mind to talk to you guys about just failure in general so for me some of you guys that don't already know this I am actually retaking my first year at uni and this isn't like a first time, it's my second time that I've had to retake the year because of like varying reasons. And it's interesting like, because even though I'm over it, I don't really care. And it's like, most of the things people think you should be worried about, like being the oldest and graduating later than everyone and having to pay more money. These things don't really bother me. Like age, is, age at university is not a big deal because people are all varying ages. Um, graduating last, I was always on a four year master's course, but all my friends were in three years. So that was never, like I was always going to graduate late anyway. And the money situation, people really exaggerate, in the UK at least, really exaggerate the effects of the student loan because the money's given to you, you pay like 9%. So whatever you earn over 25 grand, the government take 9% of that, that, that bonus. So let's, pay, let's say you earn 26 grand a year. They take 9% of that thousand, which is what, 90 pounds, and then each year you pay 90 pounds. But then after 35 years or 30 years, I think it's changed recently, um, it's scrapped, <laughs> completely scrapped. So if you earn 26 grand a year for 35 years, you, like, you're not going to pay it off and it's scrapped anyway. It has no impact on your, no impact on your um, credit score. And all in all, it's like, <laughs> I, I just see it as phantom debt. You only really pay, you only really owe what you end up paying and no one really seems to pay it off anyway. So like, that's my understanding of that. But the things that do, I don't know, like, like I said, I'm not really worried about it, I've never been sad, but I always find myself lying. People say, like, oh, how's uni going? Oh, it's great, you know, what year are you in? You know, I'm graduating next year. I always seem to lie about it, and it's got to a point now where I've told so many people so many different stories. It's like, it's flipping, like, I don't, I don't even know the word for it. Like, it's like compulsive at this point, where I say, like, some people think I changed course, some people think I... Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Some people think I'm still in third year. Like, it's just ridiculous. And I don't know why I always lie about it. I think it's in the moment when people are really enthusiastic and they're happy. And it's like, oh, I haven't seen you in so long. Blah, blah, blah. Give you a hug. How are you doing? You know, what, how's third year like? And you don't want to, like, pop the bubble and say, ah, I'm not actually in third year. I'm in first year. You just want to, ha, ah, yeah, like, everything's great. And that whole facade of, you know, life not being tough just takes over and consumes you sometimes. But, I don't know, it's difficult, like, I've, I'm starting to realise now that, like I said, even though I don't care as much, it, it says a lot, the fact that I don't always talk about it, and I've never really been much of a, a PR person, like, generally speaking, you go through social media and everyone's just posting the good times, you know, holiday this, uh, travel, parties with friends and all this happy, happy stuff, no one talks about the sad stuff, and I've, I've never really been... Uh, infused by that in the first place. I've always been able to see through these like constructs, I suppose. But then it's interesting myself to to in some capacity be a part of that. Like even now I'm laughing about it. <laughs> I'm not even like this obviously isn't a sad video, but I don't know. I don't know. It's it's weird. For me in particular, it's funny because I've always been one of the clever ones. I don't want to like blow my own my own horn or anything, but I've always been good. I mean, the fact that I'm at a top university studying engineering should tell you a decent amount about how academic, academically smart I am. But it's like, yeah, fail, failing is, <laughs> it's a sticky one. It's a very sticky one. My, I mean, for me, it wasn't like I wasn't clever enough. I just got complacent and I didn't, I didn't, I really didn't value my time here. Looking back, I would have very, very, very much appreciated taking a gap year because I feel like when you're 18, and especially from school, like, I, was, I can't speak on behalf of other schools and sixth forms and colleges and stuff, but my school were like, if you don't apply for UCAS by the end of December, you can't go to prom or we're going to take your prom deposit away. And it was all this stuff kind of forcing you into uni. 
I'm ahead of you. Was even like, look, if you don't want to go to uni, that's fine. Just apply anyway, then you can, you know, at least if you get a place and change your mind, then you have an offer. But the truth is, like, if you don't want to go to uni, you don't, you don't want to go. And having this whole non-stop discussion, like, apply, 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 it's just forcing you down this funnel into university where most people don't actually need to go to uni. In fact, I would go as far to say no one really needs to go to uni because the things you learn here aren't exclusively, like, exclusive to university. I suppose if you want to get into, like, medicine or dentistry or something more scientific then you need the qualifications and you need to have the exposure to go to like hospitals and like centers and stuff to actually learn things but other than that like you don't need to even though engineering is quite a prestigious like degree i don't feel like i need to be here to learn the things i've learned and i mean look at elon musk for example one of the biggest most uh well-known engineers out there he would say he just, he has not got a degree <laughs> he did not finish uni and that's not because he was dumb or whatever he just didn't he dropped out, worked on his thing, and now he's Elon Musk. <laughs> now he's taking us to Mars. So if you look at it and look at the big picture, obviously university is good and going to college is useful and there are so many doors that open up by going there. But forcing people down the tunnel, it's, it's no surprise where, why people are less happy, why people drop out so often or change courses and stuff like that. Like These numbers aren't really talked about. I have no idea myself how many people change courses or drop out and stuff, but it's a lot it's higher than you'd think it would be for sure like now that i'm here and i'm actually getting things done and working on youtube obviously and blog and entrepreneurial stuff it's it's easy to see why like i'm sitting here like i need to study but at the same time it's like i don't really need to be here i could i could do everything i want to do outside of university of course i'm going to stay because one i've already invested in it and two the main reason actually because investment isn't that big a deal but the second and the most important the main reason is that there's no reason to drop out. Obviously, it'll be, I could, you could argue it'd be easier to focus on things like YouTube, for example. But YouTube is a very, very big gamble. Whereas once I get a degree, I can get internships and grad schemes so easily. So comparatively, at least, it's easier to make a living by going to uni now that I'm already here than it would be to do anything else. But yeah, it's not, it's really not that important. Like, okay. Obviously, anyone that knows me knows I'm not going to ramble about like, oh, it happened for a reason or... You know, this was, this was to serve a greater purpose because that's always just not true. Like, the reason why, if you think everything happens for a reason, then the reason why I'm retaking the year is because I'm a, an idiot and I didn't work hard enough and that's why I'm here. There's no greater cause. But at the same time, it's definitely been a long, a good learning curve for me to finally appreciate that. Like, for someone who's always been, I, want, I don't want to say naturally clever, but I've always been relatively academic. It was easy for me, my GCSEs and A-levels and stuff, to just go home, do nothing and still get good grades. Whereas now, coming into a university where, yes, you need to put in a shift, it's, <laughs> it's eye-opening for sure. And I've learned similar things on YouTube, to be fair. You can't just sit at home and have a video come out by itself. You have to actually sit down, come up with ideas, you know, brainstorm, record it, edit. And it's a grind. It's an actual grind. And learning how important that grind is and the fact that no one's going to do it for you it's you know it's taught me a lot i've definitely come a long way from where i was back then compared to where i am now and i guess now now is a good time or as good as any time i suppose to experience that loss and to experience that failure and to start the learning curve off because you don't want to be losing when you're married with kids and have your first you know your first loss so i'm happy to start receiving l's now so i can learn from it and not make them later on in life when i have more commitments and responsibilities and financial obligations and you know yada 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 so yeah i don't know that's basically all i wanted to say it's you see i want to say it's good to get off my chest but it's really not <laughs> it's really not telling talking about this isn't going to make things any better but we move on man we move we move fc that's the new that's the new logo and um yeah that's it i do think in some capacity it's good to talk about it because I know for sure there are more people out there that have experienced like having to retake a year and things like that. Like this guy called Kurt Ritchie, I think I've mentioned him before in one of my videos. I'm quite a big fan of his. He, in one of his videos, I want to say a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, he was talking about uh, finishing college and how he's got to retake a year and how a lot of his friends were saying to him to like just leave it and just focus on YouTube. I mean, he's got like 20k subscribers or if not more, I don't even know at the moment, but it's like yeah <laughs> it happens and it's definitely important that people talk about it so it's more 
I don't want to say brace a stigma because it's not really a stigma around it, but it's like just making it more normal, kind of normalizing it. That's not to say it's good to fail. It's not to say it's good to retake years. Like obviously, if you can do well, do well, do as well as you can, like 100%. But it's not the end of the world if you do. You know, people do mess up. People make mistakes. And what's important is that you learn from it. And this is obviously very cliche, but yeah, learn from your mistakes, man. Learn from those mistakes. So yeah, that's basically it for me. I wanted to have a bit of, a bit more of an honest video today since obviously <laughs> the tripod uh, triggered a spiritual awakening inside me. But nonetheless, it's going to be back to normal from now, I guess. This is just a one-off kind of video. So if you do enjoy this, actually, let me know down in the comments below. Get at me on Twitter, Instagram and stuff. Just tell me, like, you know, I liked what you said. I want to see, I want to hear more about what's going on with you behind the scenes and stuff. But um yeah it was fun to do this just put the camera down and talk to you so yeah that's all for me don't forget to like subscribe you know do all the things in all the places and i'll chat to you guys next time peace